What is up, it's your boy Johnny Shrivai, VB Pro and Mr. Tell It Like It Is. Welcome back to the channel. I take some days to just watch how things unfolded before I gave my opinion on the matter of Greg Doucette now being banned from judging in the CPA, which is the Canadian Physique Alliance. And whatever else is gonna happen after that, we don't know, but it wasn't that long until swift action was, was made. Before we get started, I mean, I'm just gonna jump right into it. What Greg said, now for me, it's not a matter of right or wrong. It's how he said it and when he said it. That's the big difference. Because when I watched his video, I was like, I was like, what are you? I was like, oh my, Jesus. Like, Jesus. I'm like, don't, 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 don't. And then I watched, you know, Bravo's video and I'm looking at the comments. But I truly don't think what Greg said was right or wrong. It's how he said it. And I have a lot of experience in this matter. When I used to live with Greg, I wouldn't say I pleased his posts, but I would definitely engage in some of the posts he would make on Facebook and have to like tell him, that's not the way I would say that. I would say it like this. Greg, I wouldn't write it like that. I would write it like this. If you wanna get your point across and want more people to hear it, say it like this. I've done that a lot of times, a lot of times, and maybe he will, maybe he won't, but he should admit it. Either way. So when I watched this video, I was literally having, I was getting triggered. I was like, ah, Greg, this is like, don't, oh, especially not in today's world where, yes, you gotta really watch what you say. Now, certain people have to watch what they say. So I'm gonna go over some of these comments that he made, but I wanna make things very clear, guys. You guys watching this video right now can say exactly what Greg said and be completely fine. People are watching the, the Arnold Classic probably in the stands and the seats. Fans watching the Bikini Girls, probably thinking absolutely everything that Greg said, 100%. They probably thought it, all of them thought it. They probably even whispered it. See all this delicious and her booty and, and her smash. They're probably saying it, but there are certain people that can't say certain things or should watch how they say it. Let me give you guys a good example, right? If I say to a random woman or just even if I know her, whatever it is, doesn't matter. There's a big difference between me saying, complimenting a woman and saying, you are beautiful, you are gorgeous, you are even sexy. There's a big difference between saying that and I'd smash. And some people kind of went over their head like, what do you mean you can't say I'd smash? It's how you say it and when you say it that matters the most, especially today's day and age. Now, we have to go over some of these comments because again, I don't think what Greg said was wrong. What I think is the timing and the place was wrong. So let's just watch a couple of these comments. Bikini, the girl that won, she's a three-time champion from Canada. So she's won this Arnold's three times in a row. She was downsized this year. She looks smaller, but her, she kept her glutes. And now Greg started off this really well. And he said glutes. Let me give you guys some bodybuilding vocabulary right? Terms that you have to understand and how you comment on somebody in the bodybuilding industry, right? The, the butt, the ass, the booty, it's glutes. And all classes, whether it's bikini, class physique, men's physique, women's physique, women's figure, wellness, those are going to be called glutes all of the time. As a coach, you're going to refer to a girl's backside as glutes. Just like you're gonna refer to a man's backside as glutes. They're always and forever will be glutes. Well-developed glutes. Very high glutes. Very strong glutes. Very wide glutes. Very striated glutes. That's how you can talk about the glutes, right? In bodybuilding, we refer to the body in terms of muscles. The chest, the pecs look good the biceps look good the abs the quads the hamstrings the calves the glutes that's how you refer to anybody's body you refer to the body as muscle because you're in we're talking body building you're getting judged on muscles on your body very very simple so we're starting off this really really good and then at some point it just gets a little different and this is where things went a little off right again i'm gonna say it again just so for some of you guys are gonna watch maybe two minutes of this video and be like uh, i don't think what greg said was wrong what i think is how he said it and when he said it made the biggest difference 
and we'll get to who said it at the end that's gonna wrap this thing up. So let's keep going. If you don't have a derriere, you're gonna finish uh, Darnier. Derriere is not bad, but again, we wanna keep it appropriate. Always appropriate. Some of you guys are like, man, what are you talking about, man? They're in clear heels and wearing a thong and they're turning behind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're wearing clear heels and they're wearing a thong and they're wearing, and it doesn't matter. This is bodybuilding. If this is not, a, this, isn't, this isn't a wet t-shirt contest. This isn't the strip joint. This is a bodybuilding competition. It's extreme pageantry. Even if you're watching Miss America, you gotta refer to Miss America's glutes as glutes. She has a very nice physique. That's how you say things. You can you can get on saying you have the sexiest physique and you got absolutely amazing glutes. You can't pin that on me. That sounds great. That actually sounds very innocent. You got some really good glutes. You got a sexy derriere. Isn't that how you say it in French, Daniel? Like last place? You need to have the booty, and when you dye it harder than last time for bikini, the booty, it's, it's gonna go, because a lot of ass, let's just call it an ass, that's what it is, it's a lot of fat. And so when you dye it hard for bikini, you might have a great bum in the off season. So here's the thing though, like, I, 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 and I honestly think that sometimes Greg doesn't really understand how to use certain terms. I honestly, guys, I know Greg, I'm sorry, you might have whatever, some issues, whatever, but saying booty, like when you when we think about booty, when I think, when I hear the word booty, I'm thinking like rap video girls twerking. Uber on the way. Booty is one thing. Glutes is another thing. And we all know that. We, I think we, I think we do. As bodybuilding fans, we know the difference between the terminology and the difference between booty and glutes. The booty is, it's gonna go. Cause a lot of ass, let's just call it an ass. That's you can't say ass. You just can't say it. There's like, there's, I, and guys, I get it. Yes, you are thinking it. You're definitely thinking it, but you can't say that when you're at a pageant or a bodybuilding show. It's inappropriate. You can say it in your head all day long. You can say, man, she got the nicest ass shoe. <laughs> Woo! She got them glutes. She got them boots. You can say that under your breath to your boy. But if you said it to the woman, to the girl, to whoever's on stage, it's just not appropriate. It's how you say it and when you say it. And so when you diet hard for bikini, you might have a great bum in the off season, but when you diet hard, it, it disappears. I'm telling you, even mine goes away. And what he's saying is completely right. He's describing this thing completely as is. It's informative, it's extremely informative. And he's saying in a way for a lot of probably men who maybe not be bodybuilding fans, that they can understand. You know, and the again, but you know, the off season the bum, you got you actually have a bum, and the off season there's some fat on there, and then when you diet down, you lose your bum and it becomes glutes. <laughs> Whatever, right? He's saying in a way that you can you can understand. I get that. Now, overall, and even though I'm Canadian, I was rooting for the girl who I will never remember her name who was in second place. I just liked her more. And here's the thing. Smash. Now, the what made this thing way, way worse, right? Now, when we look at this entire situation, you when you talk about somebody or say something, you don't want to say things where they can use your words against you. You don't. And this is where things really took a turn for the worst in this video. Again, for you men that are watching, and I watched it, I'm like, I'm, I watched it, I'm just like, what do you say? Greg, I'm like, I, I know what you're trying to say. I know you're trying to like really resonate with everybody, I get it, but you just, you can't, you can't say that like that. You just, you just can't say that like that. And here's where it went. I just liked her more. And here's the thing. Smash. All of them are smash. So how are we picking the best bikini girl? You're not picking them by who you would smash. That is the problem. You cannot sit there and take a video and think that every woman on that stage or every single bikini girl is going to be okay with you saying... <laughs> how are you gonna, how are you gonna, how are you gonna judge this thing, man? Like, smash! And like, listen, it is 100% in our nature. 100% in every man's nature, every male species on this planet. To see a female is gonna process in your minds of, do you find her attractive? And in this case, yes, of course. They're bikini women, they're all attractive. They are extremely attractive. These are the 99th percentile of beauty and muscle put together you're going to you're gonna it's gonna sit in your brain for two seconds but ba bam you're like oh and you're gonna say i would 
right? It, every man does it. There's no way around it. That's how we're programmed. That's literally, we can't, you, you literally, literally cannot take away, you, you know, you can't take away nature from the beast, right? The beast is gonna be like, hey, look, the, the gorilla's gonna be like, look at that gorilla, female gorilla, shoot. And he's probably not saying that, he's probably eating a piece of, I don't know, stick or some shit. And he's like, damn, and, he's, and it's already bubbling. Everything's already working inside your body. That's how we work. That's how we work. But you can't say that. Not every woman is gonna wanna hear you say, I'd smash. And let me t let me give you guys another understanding, right? And maybe there are some girls that, that, that wanna hear, maybe, they're, maybe they do wanna hear that. Maybe they do, maybe, I don't know. But here's the thing, for you guys who don't know, when it comes to bodybuilding, when you're at the end of competing, none of us are in the mood to be smashed by anything. Nobody is. Number one, everybody stinks. They stink. Women are peeing in little cups in the bathroom with holes in the middle of them so they don't splash on their legs. The bathrooms look gross. They're covered in, in tan all over the toilets. It's nasty. The smell of tan doesn't smell that good. No one's on stage being like, I can't wait to smash. Men's hormones are so off, they're not even, they're like asexual at some point. It's like, oh, they don't care about sex. And women are just, we're all hungry, we're tired, we're dehydrated, we're not even thinking about it. We're not even. But guess what? The people who are watching there are full of, full of calories and, and full of normal life are like, that woman is gorgeous and I would definitely probably sleep with that woman. You can think that all you want. That can stay in your pretty little mind all you want, but you can't say it out loud. You can't say it out loud in a way where it's gonna be inappropriate. And what does inappropriate mean? Inappropriate mostly means the word you're using and when you're using that word. That makes it inappropriate. Next up, bikini class, smash. Every single girl, I don't care if they're 10th place, fifth, whatever places they have, I could argue that all of them deserve to win. Like when you're looking at the winner. Like, and he's so right. He is so completely right. I've watched, it's like, like it's probably one of the hardest classes to judge. Every, like you literally can like swap them all and be like, you know, and you wouldn't argue. The untrained eye could swap every girl first and last, last of first. And you would be like, I don't know. They're all, they're all absolutely gorgeous. They're all beautiful. Of course they're going to win. Of course, but you can't be like every single one of my, I'd smash, <laughs> I'd smash every single one of those. <laughs> of course I would. You can think it all you want, but you just can't say it. If they would have announced everything in reverse order. So last place one, I bet half the crowd I agree. who doesn't know Completely who agree. they are. Like if you don't Completely know she's agree. won before, you don't know if she's going to win. You're just kind of going like, oh yeah, she placed her last, this call out, but like, they all look ridiculous. Like in the finals, they had like the first call out kind of thing, like the judgment round or whatever it is. I forget what it's called. They didn't have the top two girls in there. And I'm like, oh, I kind of thought those two were in it. Oh, well. And so the crowd doesn't know, but they put them out first and they put them out kind of last, those two last two girls to compete. And really, I mean, if they, if the winner had gotten eighth, I could argue that the seven girls beat her. Again, man, what he's saying, he's saying everything like 99.99999% of men are saying, especially 99.9999% of what straight men are saying. And then the women who aren't straight, they're 99.9% are saying the same thing. But there's ways you say it. Cause let's face it. It's like, are you sexy or are you not? Like really? I mean, let's think of it this way. When a lady of the bikini class turns around, I don't care if it's bikini or wellness. When I'm, a, and I'm a judge I'm telling you, I, all I see is like, it looks like a, my little pony from the back. So here's the problem we had with this entire thing. I got the transcripts here, y'all. I'm reading off of what he said. He said in this, when I'm, a, and I'm a judge I'm telling you, I, all I see is like, it looks like a, my little pony from the back. A nice hairstyle, which is usually a, a wig or what do you call those things? Hair extensions. And I love the hair extensions. I love the long hair and I love bikini. So I'm not like hating on it. I'm just telling like it is. Then I see a booty. I see a nice one and it's round and it's very delicious looking. It's sorry. It is. It's amazing. Girls booties. Who doesn't like that? So right like like this and this is why i had to do this video because watch i was watching this and reading the comments and like there's nothing wrong with greg d greg didn't do anything wrong at all he did nothing wrong what made things turn for the worse is when he used language that he said that when i'm a judge i'm a judge telling you 
now things have crossed the line. It's not only how you say it and when you say it, but who is saying it. Look, you guys can say everything he said to the last letter out loud on your YouTube channel. Jake Paul can say it on his YouTube channel. Anybody, anybody can say it on their YouTube channel, right? Anybody can. You can say it. Anyone watching can say all they want to say. But it's who sang it also that throws things off. When Greg said that I'm a judge and I'm a judge, that's when things took a turn for the worst. Guys, watch this. And this is what I used to do with Greg. Let me give you a great example. Watch this. Yo, guys, I was just watching Bikini Competitors. They were absolutely amazing. Those girls worked their butts off. Like, I'm, like no pun intended, but they had absolutely amazing glutes. Look, those girls are amazing. They work really hard. Their muscular, the muscularity and their beauty in one was awesome. Now, back in the day, we used to actually have four quarter turns. Like every other class in bodybuilding, there used to be actually four quarter turns with bikini. You used to have to do one one pose, quarter turn to the right, quarter turn to the back, quarter to the left, and that's it. And you used to see every angle of the woman, but now you're only seeing the front and the back. So you know what? The biggest difference now is they're probably gonna judge most of this from the front, and then when things get pretty tough is who has the best developed glutes. The those women work really hard. Now, I used to actually like back in the day when you did your back pose and you have to usually swipe your hair so you can actually see the back development. But now you don't have to do that. And it's really showing us, the viewers and the audience or the fans that you're really only judging them based on their glutes and probably some hamstrings too. Do we really care about the calves? I think so a little bit because the eyes are gonna travel from up, from here and up. I am a judge, 100%. I am a judge, I'm gonna say that, and I'm a coach. And that's how I'm gonna speak about it. I just said exactly what Greg just said. I said exactly what Greg just said, and you can't use none of my words against me. None of it. None was inappropriate. I complimented them, I said facts, gave my opinion, and nothing was taken out of context. You can't take anything what I said out of context whatsoever. I mean, you probably could dig, but you'd be reaching. It sucks that this happened because I know Greg loves bodybuilding. If anyone I know, I know personally that loves bodybuilding, Greg Doucette loves bodybuilding to the core. He is a bodybuilding fan to the core. When he couldn't go to the States for so long, I knew much that killed him because he loves watching shows. As soon as he can go to the States, where'd he go first? He can go to Vegas. He didn't go anywhere. He can go to Vegas to some kind of party. He went to the Olympia and then spent some time, whatever, and then went to the Arnold's and he's planning going to the Arnold's again. So the point is like, if you plan on, and then and then he was on the panel. He's sitting on the panel. He's, that now he's part of the Arnold event. He's part of the Arnold event. And do I think that he was maliciously trying to be, you know, say things wrong? No, Greg's just being Greg, but you have to be careful of how you say things because number one, it matters for how you say it, when you say it, and who is saying it. You guys can all say exactly what Greg said and you're all fine. Everybody in the audience can probably say exactly what Greg said and they'd be completely fine. You gotta keep it in your head. But if you're somebody who wants to have a future with the IFBB in some way, shape or form, we can't refer to any of the women in body, but I don't really care guys, I get your opinion. They're in clear heels, they're wearing nothing. Of course they wanna be commented. Of course they wanna hear this. You can't say, you can think that too. A lot of you gonna think of it, mind the keyboard. But you can't say it to your wife. You can't say it to your girlfriend. But you, you better be saying those things to your wife and your girlfriend. But you can't say it a lot because guess what? That's when things get messy. But even at that point, you guys can still say it. But if you're somebody who wants to continue to be involved in the sport in a in a manner where he is on the panel, maybe on some other, I don't know, in any whatever business adventures that he has planned, he has now jeopardized that in Canada. And who knows what's happening? Who knows what's gonna happen in the States? And that's the thing that I think people missed on this was the fact that you missed the point. It's how you say things, when you say things, and who is saying it. If Greg, Greg isn't a judge anymore, he can't judge. And God forbid that they're gonna be like, hey, you can't come to this event. But when you look at this, when you look and break it down, you look at the things he said, it wasn't appropriate. It wasn't. Was he being mean? No, he was being extremely complimentary. But you can't do that. It's like me saying like, man, that girl's good and whistle at her. <laughs> You can't do that. You can't. You can't. You can scream like, yeah, well, you can, but you can't. You can't do those things. And it's unfortunate that this is the outcome. But if there's a lesson to learn, again, guys, the lesson is it's how you say things, when you say things, and who is saying it that's gonna make a difference. 
And hopefully guys, we've learned from this. Guys, we are in some different times these days. When I talk with my boys back home, my Lebanese friends, my Italian friends, we dropping terms and this and that in the locker rooms and whatever about ourselves and culture and this and that, we would get canceled. We would get canceled. I can no longer have those fun conversations out loud anymore because someone's gonna listen to me and say something like, ah, but again, I know. I know that now that I have to be careful on how I say things, how I say things, when I say things, and I know who I am and what I can say. I am a certified judge and I am a coach. And I'd be damned to call any of my athletes and say, hey, I can't comment on my athlete and be like, hey man, your booty looks delicious. I can't say that. I can't. I cannot, I cannot comp even even my my men athletes, even my guys, my bodybuilders, I can't tell them their booty looks dope. Hey dog, your booty. They they might be like, John, what are you talking about, man? That's weird. But it's funny, huh? Either way, you can't. It's how you say it, when you say it, and who's saying it that makes a difference. And we have to use some intelligence. We have to use our brains to take a second and think of how it can say this because he could have said the exact same thing, full circle, bringing me back to back in the day living with Greg. You could have said the exact same thing the way I said it and been completely fine and none of this would have happened. There would have been no uproar, nothing at all. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Until next time, you know how it is. Iron Champions Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.